If you want to learn how to go from this to this, stick around. <laughs>this is a hugely exciting day for me first of all I'm going to be showing you as you know last Sunday I showed you all my makeup products and this week I'm gonna show you how to apply them and you will see the end result is amazing and how easy it is so stick around but not only that today November the 15th I am announcing the winner of my giveaway Woo! I at this very moment that I'm shooting this video I'm on, I just wanted to show you guys, for transparency, 996 subscribers. So, by the end of this video, I'm hoping to be at 1,000, um, because so many of you entered, thank you so, so, so much, and subscribed and commented and shared, which I just love, because we're all becoming this big, huge community of positivity and helping each other along. So, by the end of the video, I'm definitely gonna be doing the video, I know for sure, I'm gonna record it, and I'm gonna do a random pick out, and one of you is gonna know who the winner is by the end of this, so stick around. So without further ado, let's jump into the makeup. So today guys, I am so happy to be able to bring you the makeup look that you have requested. I asked you if you'd like to see a tutorial um, of me doing my makeup and I had a huge resounding yes. So I just want to give a few shout outs to a few people who in particular responded and said yes, they would love to see a makeup tutorial. To Claire McCann, hi Claire, how are you? To Laura Moxa, hi Laura. To Kelly Rattenberger, hi Kelly, check out her channel. And to Daphne's Beauty, hi Daphne, how are you? Check out her channel as well and these ladies have said yes they'd love to see a makeup tutorial I showed you all the products last week and it's very easy to say use these products some people are like yeah that's okay Viv but how the hell do I use them so here we go so what I have on at the moment and again not easy coming on here you know on camera with no makeup on I have a little bit of I'll tell you what I do have on because I just didn't want this video to be too long I have the magic cream on which I've showed you before I'm not going to get into it I will link that other video above I also have my Burt's Bees lip balm on and actually I got some lovely suggestions for lip masks in the last video you should check out the comments down below guys in the other videos if you want to have a look so moisturize your lips first and be prepared everything must be moist and that's not a very nice word, but you know what I mean. Moisturized. <laughs> so listen, we balm up our lovely lips and we have the skin prep in skincare and before makeup is the main thing. I cannot um, emphasize that too much. Prep, 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 whether it's water and creams and moisturizers and masks and your makeup will just sit like silk on your face. So I started with the Charlotte Tilbury and then today I actually did put on a little bit of this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Embellisher Liquid Cream and it again it's a highlighter so I will link that down below. So there are two little highlighters like two pumps of each that I put in my face just to prep it before my foundation. Um, and to, to speed things up. So we are all prepped and ready to go and I like to start with my foundation. So today I'm going to use the two that I showed you last week, the Nars Stromboli and the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place and this one is in the 1N1 Ivory Nude. But as I did tell you guys, it's a light, a tiny bit light but I'm going to apply it anyway and I'll show you. Now a lot of people like to apply it with the little uh, sponge. To be honest, I kind of like to mix it in my hand because it is, it warms up. I, I just feel when you put a little bit on your hand, it, it warms on the hand. You can get the color that you want when you mix it on your hand before you actually apply it. So there is about as much as I would, would take. And I mix it on the palm of my hand. Again, you can do this with a stipple brush, but I like the heat of my fingers. And I do the same with the Estee Lauder Double Wear and I just mix that on top onto my hand. Oh, a little bit too much there, Viv. Okay. 
okay that came out quicker than I expected so there you go on that and you see the thing is if you do make a mistake on your hand you can just see the way I'm just mixing it in just like paint just you know very creative really <laughs> now that's a tiny bit light so I'm gonna go back in with another little bit of stromboli tiny bit more on that because I have a tiny bit of fake tan on mix it all in in your hand and then apply tie your hair back don't forget ladies and again I just like to bring it right back to your ear right down to your jawline like that and keep going in round circles like this and I just have a mirror over here to the side so I can see what I'm doing and just make sure you're hitting all the right space. Now I do like under my eyes to go in with a brush because first of all, I don't like to put too much on my eyes. You know, as we get older, we don't want to be emphasizing any creases or lines we may have. Oh, and you don't need much makeup under your, under your eyes as it is a very, very delicate area. Now I like to put a little bit on my eyelids as well to take away any redness and just it sets a really nice foundation for your uh, eyeshadows it just helps them to set and stay in place so I just like to do you know keep going and now usually I would use my ring finger as I said in my last video because it is lighter and uh, weaker than any other finger now I do go a little bit as you can see under the eyes and this doesn't take long at all like I'm just gonna do a nice glowy just kind of like what I did last week and show you how we do it again if you want to use the sponge just to show you it's just a matter of dabbing dab 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 bring her right back to the ears right back to the hairline now I have a tiny bit of psoriasis at the moment in my hairline so it's a bit annoying it just comes and goes I don't know whether it's in winter or the heating or what it is but anyway if any of you out there have a suggestion for me because I've actually tried everything but um, I'm gonna try actually what I found really good let me use this now just to show you um, and what I found really good was apple cider vinegar is quite good so I might actually do that again and just do I think the color the hair color again affects my scalp sometimes so I'm sure I'm not the only one in that it's just like my mascara actually We'll have a little chat while I'm dabbing here. This is just setting your foundation because your, your foundation needs to set like anything. You can't just apply it and then you know keep applying things on the products on top because it'll just sit on top of your face. You need it to look as natural as possible. Give it time to just settle into your face and the heat of your face is what really, really helps. Now, that is pretty much what I do there. Give my hand a little wipe and then after that, I will go in with concealer. I have two concealers here today just to show you. So I have my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, this one, which is a slight bit heavier than the one I showed you. It's really nice and I get it in the color NC20. And then I've already showed you the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which I really like. And I'm gonna show you this one first. It's a bit lighter and I use it kind of almost as a highlighter. So what I do is I do a V, just like or a U, <laughs> whichever you like and the same on this side and don't bring it up too close under your eyelids because that's where it'll get look crappy and you don't want that kind of look then I bring it up here and I do like kind of like that kind of look and down my nose the tip of my nose top of my lip and it all just highlights and emphasizes so that is pretty much a little maybe tiny bit if you like you can really kind of put it if you're dark and the insides of your eyes you can also put a little tiny bit in here just always apply lightly because then you can always apply more rather than going in too heavy first and then if you've any little blemishes or red veins or thread veins you can just cover them up as well sometimes I have a little couple here and here again being Irish particularly we are um, prone to having little kind of like rosacea red veins again it can be weather it can be heating it can be things like that so again go in and dab 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 because if you go any stronger than that it will remove what you just applied and look up and dab 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 and I'm gonna go with my brush now in a minute but I just want to set it with the heat of my fingers first so I'm down the middle of your nose see it's not I mean it's really just working it in it's very very simple but everything is once you know how I suppose and on your chin there spread it out just make sure the you know what's really important to makeup is that it is blended 
everything has to be blended. So take the time to do the foundation and all the setting right and um, you'll be weighing a hack. Now where I like to use this brush, this actually is just one I picked up from Penny's. It's a great one, conceal and blend brush. So Blenny, Penny's Primark. Now I have MAC brushes and all the rest of them, but this one I find really good. This stipple end is actually really good for blending or for stippling on your foundation as well. But this is the side I'm gonna use for my concealer. And again, make sure, really make, I'm bringing it out to the side because I don't want it to clog in under our eyes in here because that's the area you want to keep pretty, pretty light. And you just keep blending like so, on the same, on the inside of your eye, bring it out and on your lid and keep blending it out. Wing everything out to the side with your eyes and up. And yeah, that goes, don't forget the tip, let's forget the tip of my nose. And get all those little, because we tend to have a bit of redness around our nose, whether it's from blowing it or whatever, cold or whatever it is. So make sure you get all that area too. And don't leave a clog above your lip or you're gonna look like you have a moustache. And we don't want that, that's for sure. You know, we need help here. <laughs> so that is my foundation pretty much done and looking nice. Now I have to say, yeah, I've got that mixture right today. Again, listen ladies, it's trial and error. Some days your makeup looks really, really good. Some days you put it on and you go, what the hell? I have been doing this for years and it looks like so anyway, uh, the other thing is uh, obviously how hydrated your skin is and tip as well, clean off all your makeup as you go so you'll be left with, you know, just nice clean products that you don't have to, it saves you a job going back and doing them all, you know, a, a different day, just do them as you go. And sometimes I didn't put it on today, but the Tatcha that I showed you, the silk canvas, sometimes I do put that on and it is beautiful. Probably should have put it on today actually, but it is just lovely and creamy. I showed you that one before. So that is the skin looking good. And over that then I will apply my powder. And I have the lovely Inglot banana powder I showed you guys in the last video. And lit, it's translucent, there is no real color to it. So you take a nice big powder brush. I like to use this size so it has nice long hair. And just dab it in, blow off the excess. And then I like to start with my T-zone because my T-zone is always the shiniest. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's, 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 you know, it's a good thing, but just kind of annoying when you have to keep putting, powdering it. Uh, I always put a bit on my lids that will set the shadow when I go in with the shadow in a while. And underneath and bring it right down. Again, make sure to go right back to the hairline so you're evening out everything and you have a nice amount of powder on there. And then I would usually either browse or bronzer. I'll go with bronzer today. And for my bronzer, I will start with, well, I bronze and I sculpt and I don't sculpt that much. The bronzer does that itself. And then I'll put on a bit of blush for a bit of color. There's a difference. People think bronzer and blush are the same. They're not. Bronzer obviously is for, you know, giving you a bit of color on your face. Some people use it for sculpting. Um, and your blusher then is to give you that little, I like the little peachy pink kind of flush of a, you know, a very young, innocent girl look. Yes, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> dream, Viv, go on, you can dream, we can dream. So this is what I use, the Filmstar Bronze and Glow, as I've showed you guys before, and I go in with the bronzer. Now, so we take the bronzer, and as I showed you, you go from the middle of your cheek out, here, out. Okay, so you do not go from here or here, you go from here, on just underneath your cheekbone. And you literally, see that that's giving a lovely little shape to your face. And it just accentuates, that's all we wanna do here, it's accentuating what you already have. And then on this side, out, just under your bone. Some people like to smile. I prefer just to go like that. Okay, and if I've gone a bit heavy, we can blend that in a minute. Then I like to bring it down the, my nose on either side, just to define. And then the famous, this is a good trick, I don't know if everybody knows, but if you go in the figure three, so we go one, 
two, three. One, two, figure three. So that basically hits all of, see, because the temple here at the side is a good place to define as well. And it's a great tip to remember, actually, I did it in uh, one of the makeup girls, I did a show, Evolve at Viv, it was for, uh, I think I was telling you guys about that before. It was a fashion, beauty and lifestyle show for over 40s and I had obviously makeup artists at it and you know skincare people at it and all that it was really really good actually and my daughter we had a makeup artist at it and my daughter Katie that was one of the things she took away from the show from the makeup artist so she was really happy I saw her doing it one day and I said where did you learn that and she's like from your show mom that's very proud very proud so now make sure you blend again or else we're gonna look like a clown so blend all that in, because sometimes, particularly if you don't, that's another tip, if you don't do your makeup in daylight, you should really do it near a window. Some of us now, again, I'm doing it with lights here, but I think I pretty much know how to do my makeup at this stage and hopefully won't look like a clown. But sometimes if you don't do it in daylight and you do it with fluorescent lights or any other type of lights, it's a false light and you go out in daylight and you look at your makeup or somebody else looks at you and go, ooh, you went a little bit heavy there. Then I'm going to go in with my blush and I picked this color here and it is lovely in the instant look in a palette from Charlotte Tilbury I use my same brush you can use a different one if you want apples just the apples that's all you wanted on here and this side and you do not drag this out that's what you do with the bronzer not the blusher just in this apples that's it that's it for your blusher and then last but not least we highlight I like to highlight my face with this long tail brush Again, going back in with the Film Star Bronze, this time using this side, the highlighter side, and yeah, this side. I start here, bring her out, and again, I showed you guys, this is how you get that beautiful glow on your skin, down the center of your nose. Might be a little bit too much, and on the tip. On just on Cupid's bow which really accentuates your lips when you put your lip liner on a little bit here and just on the bra on the bone so there on the cheekbone at the top of it back, yeah. which is lovely and this just throws out on your brow bone throws out all the I'm going quickly because I don't want it to be too long and I want to show you also really how quick this is and don't be afraid you're like oh god I, I put it in the wrong place experiment and that's how we learn play you know that's how children learn they play and they're not afraid like I always say to my mother she's like oh my god when she when she's going on about her, the iPad I said just play mom that's what children that's why they're not afraid to press, press buttons and, and play and they learn iPads and, and, and all the rest of it and that's how we learn makeup okay brows now so brush the brows and people are like why do you need to brush the brows that seems a little bit pointless and um, it's not it really isn't I mean first of all it's it's bringing everything up which we need and second of all it is preparing them for the proper shape that you need now I have plucked mine because mine in the day were quite arched as a model and they used to actually pluck the life out of them back in the day and it was just the look and so we were left with much thinner right my eyebrows used to be much thicker but the makeup artist used to pluck them and pluck them and now the eyebrow shape what's in trend has changed so I like to go out a bit rather than more round so I'll just show you again at the Anastasia Beverly Hills I showed you that one and I have the angled eyebrow brush there all right so you just dab in here whichever color you are if you're lighter brown this is a duo uh, powder palette lighter brown or darker brown doesn't really matter uh, obviously it does depending <laughs> doesn't really matter if you're blonde use the lighter if you're dark use the darker so you, what you want to do if you see is get the line of the eyebrow shape you want so mine is thicker at here and I'm gonna I'm gonna join that up to the other side to make it all blend in and be even I'm gonna use a bigger mirror if you can see what I'm doing my eyebrow is thicker here and then it's thinner so I like to even that out Just like that. It's funny the faces we pull actually when we're uh, doing our makeup. I always think that's funny. And, and actually when I was modeling, and the same on the other side, I used to love watching people do their makeup because you actually learn so much. And I think it's the focus and the concentration because it does take a bit of. So if you can see what I'm doing there, my eyebrows arched here. 
and I am going a bit lower and just bringing it out and joining it all up and continuing it like that. So it takes a bit of practice. The brows definitely take practice, um, but you should definitely, you know, again, just play around. Just go as far as, you know, people don't know how far to go here, but if you measure your brush from here to here, that is where your eyebrow, the inside of the brush, that's where it should stop to even them up. So we've got one point and then you can measure it like that with your brush and it really helps. And when you're on this part here, you go up rather than across. So you have that feathered effect of your natural eyebrow. Okay, see that? And it is looking nice and natural. And then when you get there, you can turn the brush and just go out a bit and join it all up. And sometimes, again, I have great eyebrow days and sometimes they're not so great. But that one is okay, it's not bad. And then on this side, we do the very same. You can see what I'm doing there, joining it up and bringing it out. And at the very top, you can just bring it out another tiny bit than the natural, where the hair is. The natural hair stops here and I'm bringing the shadow out a tiny bit further and then going down. brush up there we go and at the top just fill that in so that is not bad okay but to get perfect we need this so we need this and we need a little bit of concealer to remove any mistakes so dab a little, your brush on your concealer like so and then you go back in and if you see any like I kind of went if you can see a tiny bit over there so I am going to just, it's like an eraser, just remove that, okay? And the same on the end, if you went down too far, go in with your concealer and draw your line. So never ever worry about making mistakes. And that is pretty good there and there. But it's good because you're like, oh my God, I made a mistake, oh it's a disaster. It's not a disaster. Just keep going and just use your little tools, get your little brushes to sculpt the shape that you want. So that's that. Now I have my blusher and my eyes on and now I'm going to go in to my eyeshadow. And I always like a base. I know I have mascara base on, but I'm going to put a highlighter base. And again, I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury palette. And as you can see, I use that color an awful lot. It is my favorite and and I like to put it all over my eyelid from the base, from the top of my eye there, all the way up to the top and just under where I finish my brow. So hopefully you can see that and the nice shine that it's giving. And as you can see, I have, I'm gathering a little bit of, um, shadow which is natural just under my eyes but we'll fix that in a minute so don't worry about that either everything's fixable this is a no worry zone you come here not to worry <laughs> now on the other eye we are going to go in again and just do the eyelid all across sweep it the whole way across and this is the kind of brush i like to use like a little flat one and sweep it all the way so make sure to go into the corner of your eye because that really brightens up in there as well, right? So now we have the eyelids done and the base on. And then I go in with just a little natural, the little brown here that I like to use in that palette again, and whatever color you might like to use. But I go in here just in the crease, which is perfect and gives a lovely, natural look now just keep going across and blending and again this is where your blending comes in <sighs> same on the other side see how quick it is I mean it's really it's not difficult and you can see how unfussy I'm doing it now what I do like to do make sure to go all the way around I like to go wing it out which I was talking about in my last video so you just go up and out up and out in the corners 
gives your eye a nice shape. And then we go back in with the blending brush, <laughs> your favorite friend, because you can't just leave it like that. You have to blend, 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 bringing it out to the side and blend it in to the crease. Bringing it out, blend it in. Now I'm gonna go a bit heavier today just for you guys. And I'm going to go in with what I was telling you about the last day. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of date on the uh, Pillow Talk palette. And what we're doing here is we're building. So we had a lighter color underneath and it just gives that depth. If you can see, that color is really nice. And another bit of date and back in again. And sometimes I like to just come on the lid on the outer corners of the lid. Now make sure to go up and then we'll do another bit on this side of the lid because we missed that on the other side. See? And leave in here a lovely bright color because that gives your eyes that pop that we need. Now this, like I have a makeup routine that takes me seven minutes, okay? A seven minute makeup routine, which I can do with you. Basically it's the same without eyeshadow. And um, ugh, like it's done, seven minutes and you have a base, you're out the door, people call into the door, you look presentable. And uh, yeah, it just makes you feel better in the morning. It gets you ready for the day. It kind of says that you're gonna be productive and you're gonna do things. You're not just gonna sit around. Now, of course, I like makeup free days too. Again, we're just blending here. And there we are at the moment. <laughs> and now I'm going to last but not least, go in with my lovely 299 from Inglot, the terracotta color that I really love. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit on. As I said, I don't wear these colors every day. I'm just doing it to show you guys how to build and do kind of, you know, a nice date look if, if you like, or just going somewhere nice, natural. You know, it doesn't look like you've plastered yourself in makeup. It just looks like you've made an effort and you look well and you look fresh. And that's all we want. I know there's younger girls who watch this as well. So this is a video for everybody, obviously, but for anybody my age, you don't want to or what, or you don't want to use too much plastery makeup. And also, by the way, just I reminded myself there that uh, some people did want the 90s look that I had talked about in my last video. Maybe the younger girls out there would like to see that, you know, that smoky eye, the winged look that I used to do a lot in the 90s. If you'd like to see it, a couple of people have said yes, they would. Some of you out there might be going, absolutely no way, I'd never put that much makeup on, you know, the smoky eye. But just let me know down below and keep commenting because I love to know, like I want to know what the question of today would be like, what is your favorite makeup tip? What, like as a few people have given me lip balm ones on the last video and different things. So I wanna learn as much as, you know, keep up and help each other and talk to each other in the comments because I just think it's brilliant that we can all, well, actually I, I use this and I don't find what you were talking about that great. So I think that's brilliant. So let's keep doing that because as I said, that helps everybody. So let me know what your favorite makeup tip is or if you disagree with anything I've done so far. Now, we are, we've done the shadow and now I'm going to move on. See, my makeup brush is shedding a bit. We're gonna move on to the liners. I don't like to use a, like an eyeliner, eyeliner, but I do like to use a shadow liner just for a little bit of definition and that's the flat brush that I use. And again, I go back in with my trusted See, you really only need one to two palettes. You don't need lots of different colors. So as I said, and a few people had agreed with me in my last video, how many of us have palettes that we use two colors from and then we go, oh, I don't like the rest of them. As you can see in this, I use one, two, possibly three for blush, that's it. Now underneath, you just bring that in like that and it really gives your eye and just blend again and then at the sides, bring it up and out. Up and out is a great one, ladies, because that's where we want our eyes to be. You know, that lovely winged, and it just is very flattering. And we just, it just gives the illusion of our eyes being just like that, right? And then I like to bring it over my eyelid, just brush across the top, sweep it across the top, and you might say that's not even, can't even see it, but it does make a difference. And it's all the little subtleties that you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even notice, but they really do 
when the whole look is done, bring it all together. So, don't mind the faces I pull when I'm doing my makeup. That's just what I do. That's just what my face does. <laughs> now, then sometimes if, again, we're going out or something, I will put a little bit of the terracotta on top of that. Underneath, just from the outside to maybe just the middle this time, not all the way. Okay, and that just defines everything. Same on this side, from the outside into the middle and then you can sweep that again sweep right and then now what I did say to you in the last video is sometimes I'll use a little brown liner on top just to again accentuate it there's a little tip you sometimes you wet it some of you might have gone I can't believe she just did that I did <laughs> to see because it wets it and it, it applies it easier and then same on the other side just into the middle and again that just defines it I like brown again it's softer and it uh, sometimes I use black as I said but daytime I'll generally use brown I don't feel the need to, to use any black now there's a little bit of uh, drop fall down if you can see there so I'm going to go back in with a tiny bit of our trusted concealer and this time I'm going to use a little stipple brush maybe and I'm just going to sweep that across the bottom of my eyes just to remove or cover any of the drop down there because that can be really annoying after if you've just gone to the trouble of doing your lovely foundation and you've got all these speckles down there now all we need last but not least are our lashes so I like a little I always every day actually I use an eyelash curler even if I'm not uh, putting that much makeup on see the way it just you can see just curls your eyelashes and opens them up I just love it I've done it for years and years and it really makes a difference my one is a Mac and uh, you can get I leave all the links down below for products if you'd like um, I, the tweezer man one is really really good as well and um, they last, I have that one, I'd say, I'd say I have it 10 years. You can actually replace the rubbers on them as well. So my Christian Dior, Dior Show Iconic Over Curl that I showed you in my last video. Again, I love the shape of the brush. Always do the top of your lashes first because you have little blonde baby hairs above that you don't even know about. So just curl them out and define those first minding not to ruin your makeup that you've just done and then we are pretty much done apart from the lips and you will have perfected the lovely natural glowy dewy look and once you have the skills you have them for life it's amazing they don't go away ever and it's one thing i would say about modeling or acting or any kind of grooming there are a lot of negatives about the job but there are also a lot of cons i suppose like any job um, definitely the grooming side and the tips you pick up along the way from makeup artists and the top people in the country uh, stick with you forever so it is definitely something that I want to pass on to you ladies and to give back to you for supporting me it's just let's all help each other that's the difference that's the closed eyes and the open eyes and there you go now we're gonna go in with the lips and I use the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat uh, bond girl and that one that I showed you before and again tip just start just under your line of your lips if you're you, not even if you're of a certain age I've seen actually the younger girls doing it now and I don't like, an, like a lip that's overly drawn it just looks ridiculous nobody likes that but it, you can just accentu accentuate your lips a little without getting any treatments done I haven't had any treatments done as I say yet never say never so but I haven't done so I'm going to show you what to do now, there you go, underneath. That's the bottom line. And then the top, you can just go on the actual line of your lip. Now, that's your lip line done. And then, all you have left to do is a little bit of lippy. And this one is the Cream Sheen Sweet and Sour by MAC. I like these peachy kind of corally colors. It's really natural and lovely. And again, sometimes I don't even, actually a lot of time, I don't even use uh, 
lipstick. I like to put I like to put it on with a brush. It just gets into all the little nooks and crannies. So you just blend with the lip liner. Always make sure to get into the corners. And there you go. Now, what I will always do, always, always, is, um, funny I don't always use lipstick, but I always use lip gloss. So this one is you, Sexy Mother Pucker, and it is by Soap and Glory, Bare Enough is the color, and I'll always put this on top. Blend it in. It blends the lipstick and the lip liner really, really nice. And that's it. You are all done and uh, apart from taking the clips out of your hair that is. <laughs> so two little tips I forgot to tell you. One with the mascara. If you get a blob of mascara on your cheek or whatever let it dry in. Do not panic. Then get a q-tip when it's dried in after about five minutes and just turn the q-tip like that and it will remove it. If you've obviously left a little dent in your makeup go back in with your trusted concealer and just dab a bit on and you're good to go. Then on your lips we you know this kind of horrible excuse me you've got lipstick on your lip, lips look you know we don't like that so uh, what we do is may look rude but you grab your finger pull it through and that protects you from getting lipstick on your teeth. There you go and there you have it ladies and gents, mostly ladies I'm sure. <laughs> you have your full lipstick look and that is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I am going to check my numbers and I'm going to come back and see if we're at 1000 so that I can do the giveaway. Yay! We need to talk. <laughs> Hi ladies. I had to wait uh, finished the video at I think it was like 25 past 1. It is now 10 past 3 but I had lunch and everything and at 5 to 2 I we hit 1,000 subscribers. Woohoo! So I am about to announce the winner of our giveaway. So ladies I just wanted to show you the way I have picked out the winner and it is in my Google Sheets here. I'm just going to show you and it goes all the way, all the way and in Google Sheets I'm then going to go into a, a random a number picker and it is going to pick one of you guys from here. So we had 123 entrants and as you can see Catherine's catwalk was the last one to enter and there you are, all are and all your entries are added fairly in there okay so then i go in here and i select randomize range which it just does and then i go to my random number generator which we will just type in here random hard to do it one hand hold on oh there it is and the random number generator with 123 entrants and so we stick in here the minimum was one the maximum that was just whatever was before the maximum is 123 and it is going to choose a winner could we have a drum roll please for the giveaway prize dun, 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 drum roll and the winner is oh, I clicked on it. and the winner is could we have a drum roll the winner is winner is number 26 who is number 26 let's go and see giveaway entrance who who's number 26 is number 26 who is now i'm dying to see myself <laughs> who's number 26 here we go you guys are watching this live so it couldn't be more fair and we will go do 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 36 34 33 30 27 and number 26 is Miss Mum 3. Number 26, Miss Mum 3. Yoohoo! Congratulations. You have a beautiful Louis Vuitton gift on the way. Congratulations, Miss Mum 3. If you will send me all your details on Insta and leave your name, address, private message me and we will be in touch. Congratulations. So as you saw from our um, random number 
generator, quite a bit of a mouthful that is, the winner of our giveaway, I'm so happy to say, was number six, Miss Mom Three. And if you can contact me on Insta and all of the above, this beautiful little baby is on its way to you. I do not want to open it, but for everybody else who is wondering what's inside, it's only fair. This is for you, Miss Mum 3. Congratulations, everyone else. Thank you so much for tuning in and, and making the effort to subscribe and comment and everything else. There will be more giveaways in the future, so don't be worried about that. Miss Mum 3, and for everybody else who was guessing in the comments below what was inside this box, it is the clay. And I just love this baby and I hope you love her as much as I do and get as much value. She holds coins, cards, everything else, keys, and I hope you enjoy her. So that's it, that's our giveaway. I hope you like this makeup look and I hope it helped you and gave you valuable tips of how to go from that to this. Shake the hair up, give it a bit of a blow out and off we go for the day. And if you like any more of these videos, makeup tips or anything like that, just let me know down below. Also, by the way, nearly forgot to tell you, Skin Essentials by Mariga is after extending your disc my discount code for you, Viv Connolly 10, on the Skin Booster, the Vitamin C and Vitamin E Skin Booster until I think it's November 18th. I will put the, the um, details down below. It is a really nice booster of brightening serum this time of the year particularly. I use it all the time. It was the one that I spilt and thank you Mariga. She's after sending me out another bottle apparently it's on the way So thank you so much for that. So guys get your 10% discount on your skincare As I said, it is the prep and the, and the primer for everything else underneath your makeup. Viv Connolly 10 Get your vitamin C, vitamin E skin brightening booster and that's it until next Wednesday I'll have another lovely video for you. I'm so happy. Can't believe we hit the 1000 subscribers you just make everything worthwhile and I'm doing this for me and for you and I hope it's a lovely exchange of value and trust and friendship and everything else. So until the next time, be kind, be safe, be compassionate. Love you lots. Mwah.